All right, first grade, so now it's time for us to work on our printmaking project. So we're gonna take this piece of paper, and this is actually how big our print's gonna be later on. We're gonna fold it like hamburger, and then we're gonna fold it in half again, going up, hamburger again. So when I open it up, I'm gonna have four equal sections. And in this top one, we are gonna draw where how you started your family trip or your family vacation. Then in here, it's the travel, how you got there. So I'm going to write this, you are it. So this is the beginning. So what you did before, beginning, or before the trip itself. Again, you're not writing the words, I'm writing it so you know. Um, the next one is how you got there, so how you traveled there. Was it by car, was it by plane, what kind of stuff. And then these are going to be events that actually happened while you were there, so things that you did. So this is an event, and this is an event. So an example of this that I have over here, and I drew it in pencil, but I'm going to slowly outline it in marker so you guys can see. So again, before, travel, and two events. So right here I have before, I drew a suitcase. And so before you go on a vacation, what do you have to do? You have to pack up. So. It could be packing up the car, it could be packing up a suitcase, it could be making sure you have all your games in your backpack, it could be making sure you have a charger for your iPad, whatever it is, you're going to do that in the first block, so before when you were getting ready to go on the vacation. Did you have to talk to your grandparents because you were to go visit them? What did you have to do? In the next one, it's the travel. So for me, in this one, I'm doing that we drove, so I'm showing the road, and I can represent the road here with the little lines you see in the road on the side, the yellow lines, and the yellow lines, the dashed lines in the middle. And notice that the road gets smaller as it gets farther away. That's what's called the illusion of depth. So depth is not the illusion of death, it's the illusion of depth. So making something look like it's farther away when it's actually just flat on a piece of paper. So I did that. You maybe are going to see houses if you were driving. So that's my travel. So again, beginning or before, and then the travel. And then during the vacation or the trip, it's going to be actually things that you did there. So here, this is when I traveled to uh, Jamaica. So that's another country. And we went snorkeling. We went swimming with a bunch of stingrays and different fish. So I'm drawing when we did that. And I'm drawing a bunch of different details because the more details you have with the more texture, the texture is what something feels like, the better your picture is going to look at the end. So there was a sea urchin. So sea urchins are super spiky. They hurt when you touch them, so don't touch them. Um, but I'm drawing those in the background. So that's my one event. And my other event is that we went on a big, giant boat and it was in the water. And so I'm making sure these are big and these are filling up my paper because this paper isn't that large. So I want to make sure that I'm actually filling up all of the space that I have. So I'm just going to finish doing this. All right, and you guys are not going to go over it in marker. I just did so that you guys could actually see it. You'll draw it in pencil. But yeah, so this is what we're doing. Notice you don't have to draw people and you don't want to write words. Because when you write the words, when we do the actual print, they'll be backwards, they'll be reversed, and you won't be able to read them at all. So again, I'm going to leave this part up. You want the beginning or before, the travel, and then the two events. All right, guys, if you have any questions, let me know. But I'm going to write it right here, before, travel. Again, you're not writing the words. Event, and then down here, event. All right, guys. Questions? Let me know.